Hey everybody, it's Martha. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I decided to turn on the camera while I do a little bit of work here. Um, I am working on the cards to put inside my envelopes. I've made several already and I thought why not turn on the camera and just share a little bit with you. Um, these are some of the ones I've made already. And basically what I did was anything that I did on the outside, I decided to make the journaling cards um, similar to what was on the outside. So here, this is tissue paper and cheesecloth. Um, some of this I need to glue down a little better. Um, because it's going to go in, in and out of the envelope, I don't want to have it rip off. But... They fit really nicely. Um, I really like them. That's a lot of journaling space. And it also leaves plenty of room for anything else you might want to put in the envelope. Um, there's still still a ton of room in these pockets. So, um, yeah. So that's what I've done so far. And let me show you these. Oh, that goes that way. And I just, like on this one, I just took um, extra napkin, and um, which is what's on the outside, and took matching napkin and tore pieces off of it, and just, you know, inked around the edges. And um, what I did do, though, was I stenciled and then <laughs> accidentally put the um, napkin on the plain side. But that's okay because this is just stenciled and it doesn't really take away from whatever you might write on the back of it. And I think it's kind of pretty um, to do it that way. So I wasn't upset when I realized I had done it backwards. I'm good with that. Uh, try and go with the flow. So I thought I would show you one of the things that I did. Let me show you this one real quick. Um, these were just sitting in here drying. So I took... Um, some more pieces from Calico Collage from that set. And I figure there's plenty of bling on the outside, probably too much for some people. And so I didn't put any in here. Plus I didn't want it, you know, um, hard to write on the back of the cards. And I think that keeping the cards simple is kind of nice. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's going. Uh, took me a few days to think about what I wanted to do on the cards themselves because even though it seems like a pretty simple thing to figure out I was struggling with what to put on the cards for the inside and basically it dawned on me just do matching cards for what's on the outside yeah not a complicated thing but yet I um you know took me a few days to figure it out and so I did these and I used this new to me product called Collage Page, but um, it's okay. I mean, it worked. They have taken quite a while to dry. They still feel, I mean, they're dry and it's a matte finish, but it's still a tad bit shiny. Um, so I wanted to show you what I've been doing for my napkins um, and it works pretty well for me so I just wanted to share with you I tore this out and all I do is um, I'm not patient enough to use a paintbrush and water I just put my thumb over the part that I don't want torn and sometimes that doesn't work. Um, granted, sometimes, you know, the butterfly is missing part of a wing or an antenna or <laughs> something like that. But for the most part, it works for me to just put my thumb over the part and hold it very tightly of what I don't want torn. And so I am... Just going to do this one because I need this for one of the cards and I thought I would show you what I do and we're having um, really crummy weather today we got up to about 
four inches of snow on the ground. Um, I'm in Virginia, in case you haven't heard me say that before. And then um, about, I don't know, maybe maybe 10 o'clock or so when the temper temperature started warming up just a little bit, it turned to freezing rain. And that was nasty, nasty. You could hear it hitting the... Um, the ground and the trees and yeah so it was not nice and then uh, about I don't know 12 or 1 it turned to just rain so it's really ugly outside um, and we're staying tight and warm inside and then I I just started um, a stew and I haven't cooked in quite a long time probably a couple months my husband's been doing most of the cooking um, feeding the dogs and all that because I'm usually in this room um, obsessed with doing this stuff and so he's been doing most of the cooking but when I heard what the weather was going to be like today I wanted to make stew we haven't had a good stew all winter and I don't make it a lot but I wanted a stew so I went and bought all the stuff yesterday and um, I put the oil in the pan and I turned around to um, flour the stew beef. And I turned around and the kitchen was filling with smoke and my oil was burning and the bottom of my pan burned. So I had to turn on the ceiling fan. He came upstairs to see what all the ruckus was. I drained the oil down the sink running really, really, really hot water. Um, and then I made the mistake of sticking the pan under the hot water. So, of course, it sizzled everywhere. I did not get burnt. And that's unusual for me because I'm very accident prone. So I didn't get burnt. So that was good news. Um, so I just ran hot water in that pan, got another large pan out and started browning the beef. And then I cut up all the vegetables, almost cut it, cut my hand. But, um, yeah, didn't do any real damage. <laughs> I, I tell you, it's I'm I'm a disaster waiting to happen some days. So anyway, so you saw me. It's safely on the stove. It's safely turned down. I think I turned it down. I hope I turned it down. <laughs> I might have to stop this and go check. But hopefully I'm not burning down the house while I'm doing this. So this is going to be a quick video. So I tore around my napkin. Um, this one, I didn't leave the flower underneath. I just wanted the really ratty edge with the butterfly on it. So... I have found, I used the collage page, I've used glue and a brush, and that works fine, but it makes the card and the napkin really, really wet. I don't love that. So I have been using my glue stick, and the glue stick works really, really well. Um, I I. You know, I don't do it on the napkin. I just sort of eyeball it and I I put some on the card. I can still smell my stew. I hope I turned it down. I think I turned it down. I'm going to have to go check. But, um, so I put, then I just put the napkin on it. And wherever it doesn't stick, you know, wherever I missed, I just pick it up and glue stick it. And the glue that is sort of um, beyond, like if I get it on the card and there's no napkin over the top of it, it just dries clear. It's not sticky like Mod Podge can get. Um, I do have to say the Collage Podge does not smell as bad as Mod Podge, and um, but it's a lot waterier. It's a lot thinner. So... Um, there's that. So I just I mudged. Yeah, so today is a, a no makeup, a quick shower in the morning. Um, not going anywhere, so it doesn't matter kind of day. And I recorded this once and my head got in the camera shot and I thought, oh no, that's not going to do. <laughs> We, we don't want to scare the subscribers. We don't want to scare anybody away. It's not supposed to be a horror show. 
I don't go anywhere without my makeup. <clears throat> I've always had bad skin all my life. And now I have age spots. <laughs> you know? So I prepared all the cards ahead of time. And the cards, um, the background on the cards, the stenciling, matches what I did on the outside of the envelopes. And I don't know why it took me so long to figure out that's what I needed to do. But, you know, sometimes I'm slow on the uptake on things. And I thought, doesn't get any simpler than that, Martha. So when these dry, they dry with a matte finish. And it almost feels like cloth when you touch it. It's, it's a really, I really like using the glue stick. Now, I don't know what the long-term effects would be. But I really like that. And it's so quick. You really don't have to wait very long for it to dry. Because glue stick does dry pretty quick. It's not all wet feeling like, you know, the collage stuff or glue or anything else. Now, if I wanted to coat this with something, I don't know that I would use the glue stick. Like if I wanted it to have you know, a coating of the collage podge or mod podge. You could do that. Um, you could put a clear gesso over it if you wanted to. But honestly, I like the way it feels and looks just... And look how fast that was. And you just, like, I wouldn't put it in the envelope right now because you don't want... It to stick to the inside of the envelope but I think my glue stick works really well isn't that pretty I don't know how the light is I have my lamps on and I didn't um, I didn't put the um, parchment paper over them and I know in my last video it looked a little glary kind of sort of so um, I hope the lighting isn't awful so like for this one um, I had three cards and I had to use them for another envelope because I, um, messed up. <laughs> so we will go there. <laughs> um, and then I have the napkin for the Paris one. So let's see what I've got here. Um, so I don't have any, I've, I've used the dark cardstock for some of them, um, but I have to put uh, tea stained paper on the back so that it can be written on. So I won't do that one. Um, and these go to, let me figure out which envelopes these go to. So we did those. I haven't done this one. So we'll do this one real quick. Um, the doily one is gonna go to this. I gotta figure out where the <laughs> which one the flower and butterfly one goes to. I probably messed up, used the wrong cards for something. So what I do is I put my envelope out in front of me, and I sort of go off of what that looks like. Um, now these don't match the front because I don't have any more pictures that match the front, but it's sort of it's from the same magazine, and it's from you know. It's along the same line. These are all fiber, like yarn, fiber related. I say fiber and people think I'm talking about the stuff you eat. That makes you go potty real well. That's not what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> so on these, I'm just going to glue the back. There are the dogs barking at the, at the uh, plows going by. Now, I could put some of this, you know, doily stuff on here. I could put some of that doily stuff on here. But I want it simple. I want it easy to write on. I don't want it bumpy. So I just, um, I'm just leaving them flat. Some of them, I did put some cheesecloth underneath. That doesn't really interfere with the writing very much when you're writing. So I didn't mind that.
trying to get it on straight at least. I tend to rush and get it on all sort of cattywampus. So again, this is all about not having too much complication. Um, and I think there's enough dress up stuff, you know, with the bling and the 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 um, lace and the muslin and stuff. Um, I could go ahead and put, let me cover this before it dries out. <clears throat> Um, I had, I had, I had some muslin over here. I use this. So I could put little pieces of muslin on here if, if I wanted to. I could have put it under the pictures, but I might just fray it a little bit and I save those threads. Yep, I'm weird. I save the weird stuff. That's because I make thread flowers. And I'm going to ink it a little bit. So um, I'm going to tell you about these, these makeup pads that I found. Well, actually, let me correct that. My husband found them. And um, he's pretty good at finding stuff like that. He knew what I was looking for. We were wandering around the makeup section of Walmart, bless his heart. And he turned around the corner. I was looking, you know, on the racks and the shelves and everything for what I wanted. There. And he um, turned the corner and he found exactly what I wanted. I will show you what that is. He found these. They are cosmetic sponges. Again, we got them at Walmart. They were hanging. There's these white tabs that it, they hang stuff off of. And it's got a couple of these in there. It's got a couple of these in there. And these are really cool. I like this shape because it gives you four corners or four sides to use. And I think if I hold this the right way, you can see how this one's getting chewed up already. But all I have to do is flip it over and use that side. And when those two sides are chewed up, then I'll flip it over and I got those two sides. And really, then you've got the flat sides here too if you want to use those. So, I mean, bunches of sides to use. And I, don't put that one back. And they cost less than $4 for the entire package. So I can throw, I can go through these in a month or whatever and throw them away. And when they get on my nerves for getting all chewed up like this one is and when I do that then I you know I've got more in the bag and they're not expensive so it won't cost a lot to replace and I just like the way the sponges feel so I really do like using them because honestly the the um, Ranger Tim Holtz whatever they are um, the daubers these things they're just foam, too, and they do the same thing. They flake off after a little while, too. <laughs> I thought I glued the, the side I inked. That would be about my speed today. So, so let's see. One more. I'll do this real quick. And then I have something else to show you, too. Something that I was very happy to find. And... Um, all right, there it is. <laughs> it's hiding from me. I just inked this ink pad, the uh, the vintage photo one. And uh, then I went to um, do some of these cards, and it came out so... This one, in fact. See how dark that is? <laughs> Oops. I, I had just inked it, then went to use it, thought I was using a different ink pad, and I started stenciling, and I was like, uh-oh, that's a mess. So, yeah. Um, so, a lot of ink on there. Surprise! So yesterday, I had to go see 
a holistic healer because about 20, 20 years ago, maybe a little more than that, I fell off a horse and hurt my, my shoulder, neck, back, um, trapezius, I think it's called muscle. Hurt it pretty bad. Hurt my shoulder pretty bad, my neck. But it hasn't bothered me for like the 20 something years. Once once it healed, I was in a sling for about, I don't know, six or eight weeks. Didn't break anything, but the way I landed, I did a lot of damage. I uh, really tore up my um, my shoulder and the tendons, the muscles, and all that. So took a while to heal, um, but I healed. I took care of it. But then back in January, I um, got sick with a really bad upper respiratory thing. And my back and shoulder and arm went out. And I mean, I was in so much pain, I was crying. And about day three. And I couldn't, I literally couldn't do any of this for two weeks. I went to the doctor. Of course, they just want to fill you full of drugs. And I try not to take drugs because they usually have an adverse effect on me. And... So, um, I tried the pain pills and I tried the pain cream he gave me and being sick, um, of course I couldn't take any cold medicine, which I don't usually anyway, but I was miserable. I was so, so miserable. Oh, it was awful. Between my back and the cold, I think I spent about 10 days just in bed watching video after video when I could. I, I mean, some of the time I couldn't even sit up. I was icing and I was heating and I was putting roll-ons on, like icy hot. And I was, I was miserable. It was at least five or six days until I could even sit on the couch and hold my head up. That was the thing. Holding my head up hurt. And I didn't know if I'd overdone it in my craft room. Oop. Sponges like to spring. Um, I didn't know if I had overdone it in my craft room because I did do like an eight-hour marathon. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little obsessed. I didn't want to quit that day. I'd started doing something, and I didn't want to quit, and I overdid it. I, I'm pretty sure that's what did it. Plus, I had done this, I, I had reached down, I bent over, reached forward to um, pick up the dog bowls one day before this all started, and I remember feeling it in my back, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that's what set it off. But anyway, getting old stinks, um, and so I... I just waited it out. It was a good two weeks. Two weeks and a day, I think. Fifteen days. Before I, I could get back in the craft room and wasn't in pain every night. I still sit with heat on my neck and back. So anyway, I went to see a holistic healer who's also um, sort of an acquaintance of ours. And um, she worked on me. And I mean, she worked like <laughs> she was using her elbow to loosen those muscles. She worked on my back, my neck, my arm. Well, when I came home yesterday, I could do nothing. I couldn't move. My arm was so sore, it wasn't even funny. It just was so painful but I drank tons of water I iced it when I came home and then I put heat on it last night and I felt like a new person today I felt a lot better so um I was happy that 
I went to her and that I um, I did that because it was extremely painful. Okay, so I've done those. Did I do this one? I did that. All right, so I'm going now I've shown you how I do my um, my gluing for the napkin, right? And I am going to show you something that I found that I was very happy about. First, I'm going to show you these. My husband went to the grocery store by himself yesterday in the morning, and he found these for me. And I think he did a really excellent job. Those are so pretty. I can't wait to use them. So I'm really happy. I see another envelope in my future. Um, I'm really happy about that. But this is what I wanted to share with you. I went to the store looking for a different magazine that somebody has posted from the UK. And I don't think it's out here yet. Um, I think it's called Creative Stamping Issue 67. But this one is Paper Crafter, which is also from the UK. And let me get the... Okay, it's Paper Crafter. And it's, um, it says, let's make cards, but there's lots of cute ideas in here. So it came packaged like this. And then I turned it over and I saw these. And I like was like a little girl jumping up and down, clapping my hands, not in the store. It was sort of in my mind. <laughs> because nobody wants to see an almost 63-year-old fat short woman jumping up and down, clapping her hands in the store. But I think these are so cute. I mean, we have horses. I've talked about that before. I love the bee, and I've been looking for some more bee stamps. I did pick one up the other day, and I have one bee... S no, maybe I don't. I thought I had a bee stencil, but I don't think I do. I think it's a butterfly on that one. And then there's a little ladybug, and I have another stamp with little ladybugs walking in a row, so I thought that was really cute. The chick and the butterflies... And this little lamb, my favorite. And the little bunny and the little ducky. Oh my gosh, how spring is that? And I just love them. And then the flowers are really cool. And then they got um, some sayings. I probably won't use warmest wishes, congratulations, or thinking of you. I have tons of those stamps. I like the happy days. Hello, sunshine. Fresh as a daisy. What's up, Buttercup? And this is my favorite, Bloom Where You Are Planted. I just love those. But, I mean, this would have been worth it just to get those stamps at the top. Then, and my hands are inky. Let me wipe the ink off. Then, and I'm doing this quick because I have to go check my stoop. I found this inside. And it's beautiful papers. I mean, isn't that pretty? I love this one. But there's one I love even more. I love that one too. And that's purple, my favorite ever color. And that's purple and butterflies. And it looks like lilacs almost. I really love this one. I really do. It's just so pretty. And that one. And I love this. And that one. This is my favorite. I don't know why I really like muted colors and muted tones and everything. But I just think that one's so pretty. I'm trying to show you without the glare. But not get it in shadows. And they all have beautiful backing paper. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking envelopes. <laughs> I bet you didn't think that, did you? I mean, they're so pretty. Even this one, I could use that one. If I did the inside of the envelope, you wouldn't even see that. Or I could cover up the center. I mean, they're so, so pretty. So I was really excited about this stamp set. And the magazine has lots of cool ideas in it. 
and the advertisements in it are, um, of course, all from the UK, but that's okay. I like that. May, it lets me see, you know, what you guys across the ocean have over there. But anyway, I thought this was just, I love this. I absolutely love this. I might give that a try. And I don't paint because my artistic abilities are very small. But then I thought I'd show you, if anybody's doing like a fairy junk journal, I thought these were really cute. And you can tear them out. Aren't they adorable? I hope you're seeing this without the without the glare or without not too much glare so I thought those were really pretty but yeah it's a it's a very cool magazine um, but I'm still looking for the creative stamping issue 67 and I just have to keep checking our bookstores until they get it here um, the previous issue says I think it's 66 or 65 maybe it's 66 it says that they have to keep it on the shelf until April. So I'm hoping that it comes out sometime between now and April over here because I really like the stamps in there too. I know you don't see me use a lot of stamps, but I really do love my stamps. And I can't wait to use these. But I didn't want to use them before I showed you guys. So that's it. Quick one. Um, 31 minutes. That's pretty good. That's not going to take much time to upload. So I, I need to go check my stew. <laughs> make sure it's not burning and um i hope you guys are having a great day welcome to all of my new subscribers i really really appreciate that and thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up because it helps more people find the videos um, i'm trying to build my video subscribers so if you feel like sharing i'm good with that um Leave comments below, please. I haven't been getting any comments. I'm going to go into YouTube and see if I've got the settings wrong or something that people can't leave comments. I don't know why you're not leaving comments. Maybe the videos aren't good enough. I don't know. Um, if you think that there's something I can improve on, please let me know. Um, and thank you again, everybody. I really appreciate it. Have yourself a great day. Stay safe out there. It's February when I'm recording this if you're watching this in july you probably don't have to worry about being safe out there unless it's really hot so take care thank you goodbye i appreciate it have a great day talk to you later see you next time